gentlemen. So, um, Tom, Scientology. <laughs> Talk me through that one. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Do you seem to have a decent rapport that's <clears throat> from being on set together? Yeah. 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 And we, making love. Making love. And we share an apartment and uh, we've known each other a long, long, long time. Yeah, 11 years. You both worked together years ago in my family, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. Was that the first time? Or? First time, yeah. Was <laughs> it as special this time as it was the first time? Specialer. Special. Even specialer. Even specialer. Even much specialer. <laughs> um, no, it was a great, great job actually. Really good fun. And yeah, Chris and I, we had a little quick click there and... Uh, and um, then Chris didn't answer any of my texts for 10 years. And, um, and then we did this film <laughs> together. And, I'm and now I don't answer this. Yeah, uh, yeah we, we, um, we, we suffered, uh, suffered Bondi in the Australian summer of 2011. Chris and I used to uh, take ourselves over to the, um, to the rocks in Bondi and have a little swim every day. We were quite a sweet couple, actually. Yeah. And we used to eat together and cook for each other and, and uh, yeah carry each other home. Civil ceremony is happening soon. Yeah. Look out for yeah. it. It was quite yeah. a nice little existence. Once our divorce has come through. Yeah. 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 It must have been a, uh, a hard decision, that, going off to Australia, uh, taking a few weeks out of your life and well, selling uh, yourselves. And well, actually, it was quite a difficult decision for me because my wife was heavily pregnant. At That's the time. true. That is true. And when I was offered the film, it, it was uh, in like September and it got put back to the new year. And uh, by which time my wife was too pregnant to fly because I was going to fly her out with me. And uh, it would have been a completely different experience had she have flown out with me. But, um, but yeah, so I, she, was, she had to stay back at home. And when I got back, I, I was worried that I was going to miss the birth. But I got back and about three or four weeks later, my second baby daughter was born. <clears throat> and I called her Australia. I didn't. I thought you <laughs> called her a few best men. I called her Dingo. Oh no, dingbat. No, I call her dingbat. You called her fair dinkum. Fair dinkum. Fair dinkum. I called her cobber. A <laughs> strong guy. Because the film, obviously, it was 2011 shot, wasn't it? It actually came out in Australia yeah. last year. Yeah. yeah. And this year. This year, I, yeah. I this apologize. Year. This year. Just this year. a few months ago. We're not that far behind. Yeah. I thought yeah. it was like neighbours, you know, we get <clears> six months behind or something. Yeah. Uh, no, it's a hemisphere thing. That's it's, all it is. Yeah. Well, it, no, it, it is a bit like neighbours in that um, Paul Robinson makes is an it, appearance in the film uh, singing, Every loser wins. No, no, that's Nick Perry. Isn't he, it? Doesn't, he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't, doesn't do that. Don't go and you'll be massively disappointed if you want to go and see this film you're thinking that Paul Robinson <laughs> sings Every Loser Wins. He doesn't do that in this film. That... I would go to see that film. Would you? Now, yeah, yeah. I'm going to make that film. But you do have, uh, Aust well, pop <laughs> covers by Olivia Newton-John all over the soundtrack, don't you? The soundtrack's you? brilliant. It is absolutely brilliant. And Olivia Newton-John, it sings all the way through the film. Um, I, it was amazing because, I mean, I, I love working with Olivia. She was an amazing woman, very caring. Um, uh, you know, a very motherly, maternal on set to us all. Um, and, and then at the end I found out she can sing as well, it's unbelievable. Mm. It was unbelievable. At any point on set were the Grease covers coming out? <laughs> no, I don't think anyone did, did they? Mm. You probably I did. did. Yeah. I did. I did actually on meeting her. I did an impression of John Travolta, I think. You came in in spandex when you met her. Yeah. And I oh, kept elbowing let's her accident. Get physical. Every, come, every time I tried to take my ring off, because yeah, I take my wedding ring off when I film, I'd accidentally elbow her in the breast and go, oh, Sandy. Oh, sorry, Sandy, like that. But I'd, I'd do that. But uh, no, she, no. She, she loved him. She loved him for it. She, she said, loved do him. it more. She had a very, very wicked sense of humour, actually. And uh, yeah, she, was cool. she was brilliant. And, and uh, Chris and I, obviously, we, we, we mess about sometimes. And uh, she was great. She loved it. And it was just a brilliant atmosphere all the time, every day on set. Very nice job. Yeah, it was. She was amazing. She's lovely, yeah. And I think I'd be remiss not to address the fact we do have this lovely sheet. Oh my God, yeah. In the yeah. room. He's now. not the real one, though. Look, he's not the real one. He's, uh, he's, he's, he's from Black Gang Chine he's in the Isle of Wight. Black Gang uh, Chine. He's, yeah. he's from Allen Bay. He's from Allen Bay. Um, he's, no, he's from <coughs> Peter Stringfellow's bedroom. And uh, he's, he's not, he's, he's, we just borrowed him. But, he uh, was going to be in the film, but it was a bit wooden. <sighs> yeah. Um, do you miss the sheet? 
We do, yeah. We do. I, I miss the real one. I miss the real one. Because, we all bonded um, with the sheep a lot, with the ram yeah. uh, a lot. Especially um, when we ate him on the last day <laughs> for the rat party, but yeah. uh, the ram party. We had a big Ramsey roast. Yeah. Oh. No, he's, he's still alive. He's still yeah. alive and well. He's, yeah. uh, he's, he's siring uh, other rams, I think, as yeah. we speak. So he's, yeah. And he's also in Fifty Shades of Grey, the movie. So he's, he's, he's doing well. He's, Grey. He's, uh, his career has gone upwards and onwards. Yeah. He is playing Christine Grey in Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Thank you.